called the AI Material Snap. And this is really cool. Um, so this allows you to upload um, a photo mm -hmm. uh, and then um, you can choose the material in that photo, in that image to mm -hmm. generate. Um, so it's really useful when, um, you know, your clients send you, send you like an inspiration photo or um, you have a product sample on your desk and you take a photo of it and you can upload it here or even if you go to a site and mm -hmm. then you need to take, uh, um, you, you want to take a picture of um, the, the concrete or something that's, that's existing um, and then you can upload it here um, and then you can generate that, that material. So in this example, I've generated this, um, the terrazzo flooring based on this image. Um, and then this is the result. You've, you've just generated a new material. That's pretty neat. I mean, I'm assuming I'm assuming it um, that that was an image, right? Within reason, though, if the image doesn't have a great picture of the material, how well the material gets generated, or or is the AI going to try and fill in um, the gaps of even maybe not the best image or best angle of that material? You can still you know load that and then um, and then enhance it with uh, mm. this AI. Um, <clears throat> you can actually upscale this with ultra hd um so now it becomes a higher resolution image based on yeah. ai erase these these tiles um yeah by hitting make seamless and then you can also hit ai generated texture maps to generate the texture maps for that material <laughs> so now you have again you've created a, a a real material that you can save to your library Oh yeah, with the power of AI, you know, you're just kind of cutting, cutting out the shop. Um, yeah, no, I mean that's that's uh, a that's a very, it. very practical use, but super exactly. useful. Uh, that's that alone could be a tool, a standalone tool for people for for texture generation. <laughs>